and welcome back to Divine Prince by KT. It's your girl, Ty. I am one half, one part owner of Divine Prince by KT and welcome home, Angel. First of all, just let me say, I am so happy that you came back. I am so happy. Shout out to all my Crack the Angels out there, all 500 plus of you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for rocking with me on my craft and joining and my crafting journey. I'm so happy that you are enjoying the content. And today, of course, we have another video. Now, if this is your first time joining us, what took you so long to get here? Stop playing. Look, you're home. Do us a favor. Come on in the room. All right. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, have a seat, and let's get into some teens. All right. It's me, Ty, okay? And this is my crafting journey. And I'm happy that you decided to come along, all right? Today, you've seen what it is. I know that this has been done. And I'm not the first to do it, but today, we're going to try it, angels. We're going to try to craft the viral Dollar Tree dry erase board. And our goal here today is to turn this into a grad fan. Okay, so I'm going to attempt, all right, to design this with you in Canva, showing you how to do the template, all of that. We're going to build this together, okay? Um, we're going to uh, use these laminating sheets, okay? They say you need laminated pouches. So we got us a couple laminated pouches here. We're going to go through the entire process of sublimating this Dollar Tree dry erase board. I think we can do it. All right, I think we can. So without further ado, less came to do, let's do. Oh my God. Let's do what we came to do. Y'all, I'm so tired, but I'm here and we gonna get into this content. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, angels, we are going to start in Canva. We're gonna go in, we're gonna create a custom design. So the very first time I did this, I went in because I wanted to use what I had, right? I thought about you guys. I wanted to use the standard letter size. So this is a 8.5 by 11 document. Now, you will need an 11 by 17 document because what we find out is that the 8.5 by 11 inches is a little too small, but we'll talk about that later. Here I'm going in and I'm going to create the template. So what I did, like I said, I went in, I created a design. I chose my measurement to be 8.5 by 11. Now I'm going in, I'm gonna measure out this board, okay? So this board is measuring at about 8.5 by six. So I go into Canva, I go over to elements and I pick the square with the rounded edges so that it kind of simulates our actual board and here you see me stretching out that square okay you can see it right over to the left you place it on to the document I'm stretching out that square and as you can see it has rounded edges very similar to our actual board so we're creating the template okay now I'm going in I'm going to do the same process for the handle measuring the lift and width of the handle. And this is just approximate. But because I'm on that 8 by 8.5 by 11 paper, right? You always wanna make your template a little bit bigger so that you get complete coverage. And I didn't do that the first time. We're gonna move right along because I wanna show you guys kinda of how to do this. Going in, I'm selecting that shape again, okay? And I'm gonna make that shape the same size as what I measured for the paddle. Now we're gonna change the color. And if you look here, you'll see once I'm done with this, we have a template that looks exactly like the paddle. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually operate a few, a couple of ways. So what I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this template and I'm gonna add a frame to it. 
what the frame does in Canva is it allows you to place any any picture or any portrait or image into the frame and it's going to take up the entire space of that frame so I have some pre-made images that I've already worked on and I'm going to add those here okay so this is one way to do this the only thing about doing it this way is that because it's already a pre-made image and you can't really move things around because it's a pre-made PNG you have to kind of make it fit the best way so this is an option when you're dealing with maybe a whole picture and I'm going to show you guys that here in just a second. So I previously made this design in Canva. I'm going to go in, I'm going to add it to the frame and I'm going to show you. Okay. You just drag it over the frame and eventually the frame will take up the picture. Here you see me just placing it over the frame and boom voila so this is one way to create these fans but because this is a pre-made png all of my image is not able to fit in here because i didn't create this image as an 8.5 by 6 image it's a standard size image so this image is actually 8.5 by 11 so you can't really shrink the image to get the entire you know image in here so that's the only thing and then that's for her handle I just took her face so here I'm just going to manipulate it a little bit you can make it bigger smaller but somehow right because it's not your PNG wasn't created to fit into this frame it's not going to fully fit so keep that in mind when you're doing this I think that this way is better when you're when you have a photo so when you have one complete photo and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like here So this is the photo. So we just have a photo of him. I could have went, I could have added text on here. I didn't edit the photo in any way. I'm using the entire photo, putting it in the actual paddle and the frame. So this way does work, okay? This way does work. You can add your text, your balloons, all that kind of stuff. This is one way. The other way to do it is to actually go in and create the image. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. And I hope that this helps someone. We're going to actually go in and create. As you see, I have a different um, layout. I had to sit the my tripod down so I could really use my fingers. Okay, so excuse the, the, the angle. But I really wanted to show you guys how to do this. Now, Canva Pro is the way to go. Okay, you can do this with just having the regular Canva. But I highly recommend going in and get the pro feature. It's $12.99 a month and it's worth every dollar. What I did, as you can see, is I went over here in the search bar. I typed in graduation background and all of these things populated for me. I'm just showing you how this looks by just adding a few of the pre-made features. Okay. And adding some images that I have. Resizing things, adding things, layering things. Canva is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. It's... it's I love it and it's a very easy tool to use you don't have to be a pro all right it's very simple and it's very easy to understand now I'm going in I'm just take showing you guys how to kind of add some things removing the background from that photo we're gonna resize her bring her down bring her up add another image I'm gonna flip it okay go up to flip you can flip the pictures horizontally upside down whatever it is that you need to do you can mirror two pictures you could change your transparency like I'm just doodling with this sorry for the noise in the background I'm just doodling with this to kind of show you guys you can do a lot of things in Canva okay so this is using some of the pre-made backgrounds and um, images that they have for graduation then we're going to do one completely from scratch as well okay just going in adding the photos going to edit photo remove the background this is going to give you the beautiful portrait as a standalone um the ai features on canva is absolutely amazing okay so then we're going to uh, remove all of this and we're going to start an image from scratch so as you know I have, i'm a cheerleading coach and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use think of one of my eighth graders I have an eighth grader her name is Kalia Howard and I'm just going to create this paddle in mind for her so our team colors are purple and teal 
I'm gonna go in and you're gonna see how I build this from scratch. So I want my background to be completely black. So I'm gonna do that for the, for the color. I'm gonna go in and recently I've created them some t-shirts. So I'm gonna go down to my recently used elements and I'm gonna add this purple and teal paint back paint splash, okay? And I'm just gonna place this any kind of way here just to get like a graffiti looking background. We're also gonna go in and add some purple paint splatter. And I'm just gonna create this until it's kind of the way that I want it to look. Adding, deleting, changing the layering, what I want to be forward, what I want to be more to the rear. And you can do this in any color. Like I said, this is just a paint wall brush. I think I put in paint wall stroke. I think that's what I put in, paint stroke. And um, this is how we got this background. Now I'm going in, purple paint stroke. This came up in the front layer, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change that until that's all the way in the back. I should have put that down first, but we're gonna readjust the layers here. And again, if you want a more detailed Canva video, let me know in the comment section and I could give you guys that. But I'm just showing you how I did this very quickly, duplicating this, flipping it, you know, changing so the paint splatter looks different. And I'm doing all this uh, to build up the background that I want for her paddle. Take your time with this. Be creative, you know. Do what you feel, you know. It's no right or wrong way to do this. <laughs> You're designing and it's art, okay? And I'm not a big artist, but I can make a little something shape. Now I'm gonna add her photo here. I'm gonna go in, edit photo. I'm gonna go to the remove background feature. And she's gonna be the center of her own paddle, okay? Resize of the photo again go in play with it manipulate it add delete do whatever it is that you need to do until you get it the way that you like it okay so i'm going to add multiple photos of her here Now I'm gonna go in and I wanna add her name. I wanna add her name in class of 2024. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna to, to text, I'm gonna click fonts, and I wanna just find a beautiful font that I wanna use. So this was the font that I chose. Um, I'm gonna use her name in this font. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna manipulate the font. We're gonna change the color. We're gonna to go to effects and we're gonna add a outline to the font. When I tell you like Canva has a lot, you'd be surprised. This is me after I hit effects right up there, change the color. Now I'm messing around with adding an outline, you know, seeing what we could come up with until I like what I saw. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna, again, go back in, edit the layout. I'm gonna layer her Truly the image, I want that in the very front, in front of her name. Um, so here you see me stretching it out, kinda just messing around with it. So this is what I came up with uh, after I added the class of 2024. 
this is our template for our paddle and you can see exactly what this is going to look like that's why i like canva because it allows you to create templates for things there's no guessing so i wouldn't have to create a fan i could just send that png to her parent and see what they would want me to change on that that would be her actual paddle right so to save this we're going to go into share I'm going to go down to uh, transparent background and um, it's going to download to my computer and that's what that file looks like. I'm going to go in and print. Okay. I'm going to ensure that my settings, my settings for my printer also match my computer printer settings. You guys see me do this every time I'm going into the 2800 printer, making sure that everything is matching. Once I see that it is, I'm going to go ahead, print this image, observe the print preview and go ahead and process the print. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and prep this for lamination. Okay. So we're going to take this paddle out the plastic. We're going to take one laminating pouch. I'm sorry. We're going to clean it off with alcohol first. Okay. 91% alcohol. This is the laminating pouch that I'll be using. I'm going to go in. I'm going to peel these in half. Make sure that you don't have anything on your paddle. Okay. You have a nice clean paddle and make sure that your lamination sheet is completely covering your paddle. What you don't need, you're going to peel off. This is our template. Now I'm comparing the two. I'm going to make sure that this, we get complete coverage. So this is when I found out that we need a bigger template. Okay. This is why I say you need to use the 11 by 17 sheets for this. We're going to, I'm still going to progress forward. So I'm heading over to the printer. I'm going to now start with the lamination process. Again, ensuring that that sheet fully covers my paddle. I'm gonna press this at 385 for 20 seconds. No longer, okay? 385 for 20 seconds. This is going to be extremely hot. Make sure you take your heat gloves. You do not wanna burn your hand. This is hot, okay? Now we should have our lamination on our paddle. Voila. I'm going to take it back to the workstation. And now I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and scissors to cut all of that extra laminate sheet off of our paddle. The X-Acto knife is a lifesaver. If you don't have one, get you one. Okay. It's super easy. I mean, it took one second light pressure in it sliced through it like a piece of cake. Now we're going to go in. Now it's time to add our sublimation sheet to our item. A few things to know. You're going to laminate the pouch, the actual film, onto the paddle with the shiny side facing up and the frosted side facing on the paddle. Forgot to say that. And then when you go in and you're adding your actual sublimation sheet to your paddle you want to make sure that you have it on your laminated side okay because both sides are going to look shiny so look for any remnants of your film okay i'm going to lay my paddle down first i'm going to put my sublimation paper on top of my paddle because i want to ensure that i get a hard press so as you can see, this is very hot. So you want to use gloves. I cannot stress that enough. Do not try to touch this with your bare hands. You will burn your hands. Now this is where things are very important. You've heard me say this before, time, temp, and pressure. So for my first run, I did not have enough pressure and we got some ghosting, okay? However, this is lit, okay? This hack is absolutely gorgeous and it works okay 
the ghosting drove me crazy. So off camera, I went, I reprinted out my template, okay? Using an 11 by 17 sheet. Here I am repositioning the paddle once again on the laminated side. I'm gonna tape this in place. I did adjust the pressure on my heat press. I think I could have given it one more turn, but I didn't want it to not be able to press. I was a little nervous. So I highly recommend while your heat press is cold, go ahead and place the paddle under there so that you could get the right pressure. That's what I should have done and I didn't do that. Um, but I highly recommend doing that. But this is the ending result, okay? After the pressure change. Y'all, I was absolutely happy with this. It, it's gorgeous and it's hot. So please, please, please use heat gloves. <laughs> Can't stress it enough. Here's the reveal. Y'all, I was a little nervous because it had stuck to the top. And I don't know if that's what caused it to ghost or if me not having enough pressure. So just be mindful. But this was 10,000 times better, guys. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, a little ghosted in the middle. I think that that was a pressure thing. But this is the end result, okay? This is what we got. This hack works. I would sell these, not this particular one, but these are items that I'm going to be selling. I highly recommend trying this at home, okay? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Woo, it's hot. Okay, angels, we're back. It's successful. The hack works, which I knew it did because millions of people have successfully completed it. But I wanted to be able to do it as a new crafter, especially with me about to add grad items to our website. Okay, I said that. I'm going to say it again. Yes. We are adding grad packs to our website. This is our first year, you know, in business. This is our first year doing grad packs, so we will not be offering everything. But we will, I'm going to put together grad fans, stoles, caps, and t-shirts. So I'm going to have different packs for those items, okay? So as you can see, the very first time, we did achieve success. We did. But I don't think I had enough pressure here in the center, beautiful design, right? I didn't print it on the paper that was big enough, right? We used the standard size 8.5 by 11 sheet. Um, and so we we didn't get a bad image. Of course, I wouldn't sell this. This isn't anything that I would sell, but for testing purposes, I don't think it came out bad. I think we were able to achieve and know that the hack will successfully work. But you know, you have a little rim here okay so this was on our 8.5 by 11 sublimation paper and then i went back and i didn't record the footage but i used the exact same steps and i did it a second time after i adjusted the pressure as you can see we still got a little ghosting at the top but not nearly as much we want to ensure that when we're doing this that we have heavy heavy pressure i didn't really clean up my edges on this particular one it's not as clean as my first one um but if i was selling this i would go back in ensure my edges are nice and flat and clean okay but um this is absolutely gorgeous and these sublimate beautifully and y'all my little craft room is hot who y'all see that wind coming from that thing baby more the dollar 25 still Y'all did that. These actually fan, okay? Make sure, a few points to ponder that I can give you. Make sure you're using an 11 by 17 sheet, okay? This, the 8.5 by 11, um, what is it? 8.5 by 11 sublimation sheet is too exact, and it won't give you complete coverage over your paddle, okay? So if you're using the Dollar Tree paddles, make sure you get go up one size in your sublimation sheet use the 11 by 17 as you can see here it didn't you know where you still have that room but you still get the complete you can see the outline of the actual paddle okay of the actual board so you want to go up a size in paper i see why people use the 11 by 17 paper i think that you should use the 11 by 17 paper highly recommend it 
Again, I have a very starter friendly 15 by 15 heat press. So I don't think that my pressure is always even throughout my press and that could be why I may be getting the spots of ghosting. Um, I am gonna upgrade my press here coming soon. We're gonna be getting a better heat press. But for right now, we're using what we have to get what we want. And I think that if I was to turn this dial of pressure maybe two more times, I would have achieved complete success, okay? So I'm happy with this outcome. These are something that I will be offering. Um, if you want to see this again, you want to see me adjust the pressure, you want to see me do it again, I will do it. But I don't want to put redundant things on the page if I don't have to. So I'll leave that guys. I'll leave that up to you guys to put in the comment section. If you want us to see it, do it. If you want to see perfect results, you know we know. I know that we can achieve perfect results because I've seen it done. But if you want me to achieve it, I'll gladly use the same heat press, okay? And I'll go back and I'll do that again because I I feel like one one complete turn and this thing would have been flawless right this is a big jump here all right so yeah um that's it this is our first tutorial for this week thank you guys so much for rocking with me um i think we're going to be back to, if not tomorrow then friday with our second tutorial of the week and i want to um there's a couple of things that I want to do. I'm going to brainstorm tomorrow and see what I want to do. But I think that we're going to attempt to sublimate on wood. Okay. I bought these blanks from Dollar Tree. All right. And I want to see what we can put on them. These are really cute to hang around the house. You could put your logo on it. You know, Divine Prince KT. So I think that that's what I want to put on this. Okay. And I'm going to see how it turns out. So stay tuned for this tutorial in our next video and i also want to do something with some sticker paper attempt to make some do some vinyl cutouts and things like that so we've got a lot coming up um just a heads up i will be going on vacation next week okay so i may or may not be posting new footage it's my goal to at least get one video up i try to do two a week but we're going to try to at least get one video up next week don't kill me i hope that the tutorials and everything that we have here are enough to satisfy you upon until I return. Um, but yeah, you can achieve this. Okay, so go try it. Let me know if it worked for you. Let me know the type of success you have. Put your pictures down in the comment section. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm so happy that you came back and thank you so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. Divine Prince by Katie out. Bye! See y'all in the next one.